Hello there. I've got quite a few pictures I'm supposed to be doing. And the other day, I just fancied doing some some simple drawing. And I've got this green piece of card and I really fancied using it. Uh, so I, I looked through my photographs and most of my photographs are green at the moment. I've been spending quite a lot of time at the, uh, the new Barnacle Matrix sites, which are these uh, great big Thargoid spires. The spire sites have got like lots of green gas, so they suited to pieces of green card, I'd say. Quite like colouring in with green on top of green. <laughs> anyway, you're up in the clouds a lot of the time in these. The safest place, bizarrely, to land at these places is up on what I call the petals or the leaves. A few of the spires have got uh, leaves on the side. The smaller ones have got two. And the biggest one's got four. And these, these flat, horizontal leaf platforms, they lead into the spires, to sort of an inner cavern zone, uh, like almost like a little tongue that sticks out from the centre of the spire. And, and on that little platform are a variety of little nerve clusters and uh, a little receptacle. And that receptacle holds some minerals that uh, are on the... It's all very elaborate. But basically, you're up in the clouds. If you're on the tallest spire, the leaves are quite high up and you can look down over the edge and it's terrifying, really. It's really, really high. And of course, because it's a game, there's almost like a platform element to it because obviously you're on a platform and if you fall, you, you fall for a very long time. You have uh, what I would describe as bracket funguses growing out of the side of the, the root-like side branches that lead to the leaf. And um, you have to travel along the branches to get to the spire itself from the little leafy landing pad. So you've got to hop from bracket fungus to bracket fungus to get to the spire itself. And these bracket fungus, I mean, really, you can imagine, it, it's very traditional activity for a computer game, really. And that kind of makes it quite fun really it's, it's quite a sweet thing i mean obviously there's that fall to your doom element to it but i quite like that leap and grab and double leap thing there's four little nerve clusters that are attached to the spire and if you interrupt those with your little ray gun you can um, you can interfere with the action of the spire itself this is why i've got so many pictures because recently I've spent quite a lot of time collecting uh, materials down on the ground. On the ground it's a lot more scary, because the ground has got lots of defences that you don't tend to get quite as much of in the air. It's got uh, revenants and banshees down on the ground, and they're both like little drone type affairs. They're skimmers sort of things, and they can really hurt you. They've got these headlights as well. And the headlights change colour depending on whether they've been triggered, their defences are up. So they go from green to amber to red. And it's a bit nerve wracking to be honest. So I would be parking my ship some distance from the spire site there. And I've been driving my scorpion up to the side of one of the little barnacle structures. You've got these little, little gazebo type affairs, these barnacle structures on the ground. And then and you can go in and it's, it's, got a, it's got a central pillar and there's more of the little nerve clusters on the walls around, on the uprights around the edges. So you can, you can trigger the centre of the pillar in the same way as you can one of the leaves up top by shooting these little nerve clusters with your energy beam. So you can climb up more bracket funguses it's quite difficult to evade attention and I'm not particularly good at on-foot combat. It's not something I've done a lot of. So it's always been a case of trying to hide for me because I know that I'm such a klutz, I won't be able to get away from the baddies. When I've shot down one of the, uh, one of the collectible items and, and running for my SRV and gathering it as quick as I can and hightailing it out of camp, I find it very exhilarating but also quite nerve-wracking. In a, in a way, the game hasn't for ages. It's not, it's not made me jittery like that in ages the game hasn't. I quite like that about it. Anyway, uh, my picture's clearly done, uh, so I'm just whittering at you for no reason now. So I will shut up. Thank you for watching, and bye. <laughs>